Okay, we start with uh, Rocco Pasafumi movie review. We yes. call it Around the, the movie, movie Block with, with the, the Rock. rock. And uh, this one... Um, this was special. This was special. Um, yes. Our friend Harvey Riesenberg always talks about special needs. Yes. And this movie is about a young special needs uh, young man who yes. really was... It's a, it's a phenomenal, it really heartwarming story. So Rocco, why don't you give the full review and then Harvey Thank and I you. will comment further on it. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Howie. The movie that we saw is uh, it's called Peanut Butter Falcon. Is directed by Tyler Nelson and Michael Schwartz and stars Shia LaBeouf, Dakota Johnson, John Hawks, and it introduces Zach Gotsagan. Zach, a 22 year old afflicted with Down syndrome, played by Gotsagan, runs away from the nursing home he resides in and befriends Tyler, played by LaBeouf, who is a troubled thief and fisherman, and sets out on a journey to make his dream of becoming a wrestler come true. Um, first, I'd like to express that, you know, like many movies, you know, it it's definitely has um, a formula that is very familiar to a lot of us. In this case, it's, based, it's very similar to Huckleberry Finn, and particularly, um, you know, uh, what's the other movie? Uh, Rain Man, both very good pieces of entertainment. And, um, but I should definitely stress that just because something is based on a familiar um, source doesn't mean it can't be potentially great on its own. And for me, I feel like this was. This was a really excellent movie. One, you have a very good cast. You have Shia LaBeouf. You have Dakota Johnson. You have um, the newcomer, uh, Zach Gottsagan. And um, every actor, a lot of the actors in this movie, in this, and, and it ranges even with the side actors, like Bruce Dern and Thomas Hayden Church. We have a phenomenal cast with this movie, and that's a big part of why this is so good. The other aspect to this is that the story is very entertaining. Usually with, with indie movies, and this was an indie movie, it's a bit of a crapshoot because sometimes you'll have movies that are fantastic, and then you'll have some movies that are a little too self-indulgent and run too long, and the pacing is a little off. This is not that. This is a, a, a movie that is a fantastic piece of entertainment as much as any Hollywood movie would be. And this was, a, this was definitely what, what you, I would call a sleeper. This was a really excellent movie from top to bottom because you know, you, you really find a sense of organic camaraderie with the two characters, with, with Zach, uh, the Down Syndrome uh, person, and also with Tyler. And they're goosed by great acting from, uh, from Gott Sagan and uh, from LaBeouf, plus with Johnson and everything in this movie. You know, what people complain about a lot with movies nowadays is that everything doesn't feel organic, everything feels forced, everything doesn't feel like, like you don't feel like a sense of that emotional connection that you have with a movie when you have, you know, character development and all this. Everything feels like it should happen, and that's what you want out of a movie. And like every character beat, every emotion, everything you feel, I mean, I mean you can attest this too, Howie, that everything felt like it deserved to happen, you really felt for these characters when, when, thing, when they had their moments of triumph and you know, their, their moments of, of peril and all that. You, you could definitely say that, that everything in this movie felt like it, it, it deserved to happen and it, it felt genuine, right? Absolutely. And uh, one thing I want to bring Harvey in on this, even though Harvey didn't see the movie, but yes. the one aspect that Harvey always talks about. What I found most inspiring about this film is that when he was at... Um, his facility, the woman, his director, and the people at the facility always treated him as a Down syndrome boy who was limited, who yeah. can't do this, who can't do that, who can't do this, who can't do that. And you could tell he was extremely frustrated. He has a young boy that his roommate was a 75-year-old man. He was in a, a senior center where he obviously didn't belong. But it was all about you know, them treating him as a person that, because he has Down syndrome, couldn't do this and couldn't do that. And then right. he meets this um, young man, Tyler, who totally expanded his horizons. Yes. And treated him not like someone with special needs, not someone who is limited, yes. but someone who could accomplish anything, like learning how to swim, um, um, doing all kinds of different things, and giving him confidence and believing in him yes. like nobody ever did. And then when the woman from the facility found them later, 
and she wanted to bring him back. Yes. Tyler, who had given this young boy so much confidence, she came over to his philosophy. She started to realize what a wonderful thing it was that this young guy, Tyler, was treating the Down Syndrome boy uh, like a normal kid, saying, you can do this, you can do that. Right. And Harvey, isn't that what you talk about so much with Down, with um, special, special needs, needs, is that it's not what you can't do, it's what you can do. And this movie drives it home so dramatically. Let's talk about that point. All right, let me first make people aware that God gave me an angel, he gave me a saint, and he gave me a mission. I have a special child who cannot speak or cry and is blind, but he gives love. And how he has changed so many people's lives. How could that happen? Well, I just want you to know from my own life experience, and I would say with more than 60 years of being involved with uh, resources, uh, places where children with special needs Everybody knows about Wasaic and Willowbrook, or should know how it was. It was people they were mistreated so so badly. I mean, it was a, a huge scandal that really changed the world for people with disabilities and their families. I want people to understand that special children give love, and I can say this because uh, I I live this and. Um, being a former special ed teacher and a principal, a school administrator in East Meadow for over 20 years, and getting to see and know the reality and the potential of students. And what I did many, many years ago, and I just, I'm sharing this with you because I think it's important. This movie is inspiring, but this is only a, an example or a sample of, of so many situations that are being brought to view. America has talent. Millions of people are watching this program. Some of the finalists out of thousands and thousands of people are people with disabilities. Young kids, amazing. Absolutely, one of the top singers. He's not only blind, but he's autistic. And, and his first um, video got over 25 million views. I mean, he's making a huge impact. And Harvey, just, I know you didn't see the movie. I know but, but, you, you, but just, your gut reaction, speaking from your gut, do you think that this special needs uh, young person um, who's got Down syndrome, the fact that he can be a star in a movie, you think it can inspire others? You think this could be a door opening thing? Well, let, me, let me tell you, there are agencies that I'm involved with. I mean, I gave $10,000 last year to a music group from an organization called Free from that page, Long Island. They were the only young people with disabilities to perform in a national music festival. I gave them $10,000, it's a drum corps. We had people at fundraisers when I was running for office that I invited, chorus, and I had special children singing and dancing. People could not believe it. They just couldn't believe that these children can express and, and accomplish by making people not only aware, but actually supporting them because we have to make the world aware that the most discriminated population in our country are people with disabilities. And we are changing and educating. Mm. This movie is a fine example yes. to stimulate an interest. But what I'm looking for as a parent is for people to understand that the resources that are necessary to establish and develop what our children can do, not what they can't do, is to give them opportunities, independent skills, being able to be, and this is the funding that I've gotten millions of dollars for in the state of New York. Independent living, making people aware that our children, not only when I say they give love, but they change people's lives. And I can tell you that, because let me just say very briefly a story. Ricky could, was at Camp Royal Town, AHRC's camp upstate New York. I financial support, we do wonderful things. People who are there, the counselors that are there, are people from different countries. And unfortunately, few Americans, but from different countries. And Ricky's gonna be there. Needs total care. Profoundly retarded, can't speak, cry, and now is blind. He met a young boy, Alan 
Ricky went up there on a Saturday, Aaron, my wife and I were up there Sunday, we were going to see who's going to take care of Ricky. And a young man named Chris was taking care of Ricky. He was very pleasant, nice, and patient. So we took pictures and we left. Now, six years later, and it's all in a book that I wrote. Six years later, I get a, a story. I get a letter from Chris, how Ricky changed his life. He now works, he got a nursing degree, he now works in a facility with people with special needs. Now, Rick, he wrote this letter to me from Great Britain, from England, saying how Ricky changed his life. It's amazing, but look what happened. Ricky did change his life. Even though he couldn't speak or cry and he couldn't say now, but the answer really is, and you get the love, the unconditional love that you get from a special child. It's like no other love experience that you can imagine. And that's why a movie like this is so important. Yes. Because I'm telling you, I had a Mary Margaret, a little girl that I took care of with Down syndrome, from age five to age 16. And I took her and I took her out on a surfboard. We have a surfing program. I started in Long Beach with the school and family 23 years ago. But I had this youngster, and she didn't want to go on that surfboard. She didn't want to go in the ocean. And I had to make a decision. Because I, my friendship, <laughs> she used to run and jump into my arms and hug me. And now this little girl who was about six or seven years old, I had it down on the beach, and I made her go on a surfboard. And I said, well, this could be the end of my friendship. But she came in with the biggest smile on her face when she came in on a wave. And I tell you, you have to see it to believe it. This, this surf camp that we have in Long Beach, and I, again, I'm bringing you up today because as late as today, we had serving competitions for our special children, inclusion, special children with regular children, five years old, not that young, out on surfboards in the ocean and surfing. And it's amazing. And we had young people with disabilities that participated. And we had a surfing contest down there. But I want you to understand why something like this is good. The family, the parents get a thrill out of watching their children doing things that they never thought would ever be possible. The child develops a self-esteem and a self-confidence and a maturity of, of socialization. Five years old I'm talking about, pre-K. And I want to tell you, and, and they participate and then after the, the, our session was over this summer, I took all the volunteers out for, for dinner. And the volunteers, 13 to 14, junior high kids, that love to go down there. So on a surfing day with our special children, the children had a happy day. The family had a happy day. The volunteers had a happy day. Everybody had a happy day. Everybody holds hands at the end of the day, and we thank God for the happiness that we have. And the diversity of the people that are there shows you that people with disabilities are part of our world, and I want you to know how much they contribute to give happiness, and that's the whole purpose of that movie, is to make people aware, yes. and that's why we're here tonight, and that's the purpose of my book, by the way, to make people aware that special children give love, and they, you know they need all the support the families can get, and that we need government to take an interest in preserving a healthy, safe environment for our special people with needs, whether in a nursing home or in special programs for people with disabilities. But this is, you know, it's so interesting, and I, I'm moving a little forward. Everybody is saying, oh, guns don't kill people, it's mentally ill. Everybody's mentally ill. And the truth is, we really have a problem with mental illness. How much money in the budget is there for resources to help people with mental illness? Right. Not as much, not as much as it should be. And how many police officers committed suicide? Huh? In New York, 10 in one year. And I was a PBA president, I was a police officer. In 1960, it was a problem and an issue. Well, the thing is what we have to do is understand the needs of those who have needs to be able to get the resources necessary to give them some health and safety for them and their families. So I thank you for this opportunity okay. just to bring it to you. All right, great job. And uh, Rocco, in closing, yes. uh, how many stars are you gonna give the Peanut Butter Falcon? Well, um, as uh, Harvey so eloquently pointed out, this is a subject that does, uh, this film t totally does this sub right by the subject. You know, you want to see movies that not only tell inspirational stories, but tell them in a way that 
really emotionally resonates with the audience in, in, in a totally genuine way. You, you don't ever want to feel manipulated or anything like that. I felt none of that watching this movie. I felt like this is the real deal. You know, great acting, um, great telling of a familiar story. And uh, this, is, this is one to see. I mean, this is why Howie and I love going to the movies. We really feel like, like this is the, what, you know, movies are made for. So in totality, I give Peter Butter Falcon, I, I do not, you know, I don't do any hyperbole here. If, you, if I tell it to you, then, then I feel like I genuinely, in my heart of hearts, feel this way. I give four out of five stars. So thank you. All right, great job, uh, Rocco. Great job, Harvey. And uh, folks, if you haven't seen it, get to the in this plane right here in Long Beach. Right. Peanut Butter Falcon will inspire you. Indeed. And, and you will love it. Yes. <laughs>